hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can quickly or how we can import our test cases from an excel sheet okay so currently i am in a test plan which is and um, i have selected one test suit and if you see here there are two options one is for export test cases one is for import test cases so to get uh, i mean to, to if you wanted to import one test case or if, if you wanted to import the test cases from the csv file okay so i'll please show you my csv file also so this is my csv file which is there and i have created four test case test case 14 test case 15 test case 16 text for 17 just for the reference i am giving it like this okay this is nothing but the title right title of test cases so you can keep it anything like verify the title of the page verify the button verify the login function or whatever test case you want to create you can keep it here as in title and you can put the steps here okay i'm just taking an example for the for for this demo purpose only but just make sure you are not adding any test case id otherwise if the test case id is already there it will it will just replace the content okay it will just update the test case instead of creating a new test case so just make sure these test cases will be not this the ids will not be there okay and these should not be there basically so now what i can do i just simply click on this import button it will give me an option to choose the file I'm just pausing the video for one second to choose the file basically. So I have selected the file, the, the one which I have shown you, like 14, 15, 16, 70. And now I click on import. It will ask you the test case contained may get overwritten by this operation. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Okay. And if you see here, four new test cases are created. No notations. Right? If you see 14, 15, 16, 17, these test cases are imported. Now, this is how you can create your test cases or you can bulk import your test cases. The other way is you can click on this, you'll get an option to add using grid. You can click on this, okay, and uh, you will see this blank option here. You can and, and the, basically the boxes. What you can do. Let's say I want to add four more test cases. I'll just replace the title so that uh, these are only so that okay. Twenty and let's say twenty one. So again, I wanted to create these four test cases. I'll click copy this. Let's see the steps: title, steps, new points these three things we have an expected result also okay if you see here it's protection but it isn't assigned to okay I have done a mistake basically and refresh it okay and you don't have to enter the steps here. Sneak to enter the action steps in the expected result basically. Step action. Expected result assigned to. Okay. So area pad is also not required, I think. Yeah. So we can hide this one also. Just need to copy these things. You can enter okay so from step 2 and then we have the ids and then everything so see everything is there now I, what i need to do is simply save it as soon as i'll save it the new ids will be auto generated for those test cases so this is how you can add your test cases via bulk upload or using the grid function grid feature which we have in azure devops thank you thank you very much